Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Thursday, Bears. We are past the halfway point for this week and almost through week 15 of the semester. On today's show, we have a look at our sports for the rest of the week and a preview of the dance performance this evening. I'm Max Purdy. And I'm Matthew Beiser. Today is Thursday, April 20th, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Let's start the show off with campus news. The library has two upcoming deadlines. First, the final day to turn in checked out personal books is May 10th. Remember that any outstanding books after that date will turn into an in-debt. Now, this due date does not mean textbooks or novels. If you still need to check out a textbook or novel for this semester, the deadline to do so is next Friday, April 28th. They can be checked out before school or during nutrition and lunch. Yesterday, we saw an informational school-wide assembly concerning the Armenian Genocide and Armenians today. The commemorative week continues today with a purple flower craft at lunch in room 1215. Tomorrow, wear the colors of the Armenian flag to finish the week. Looking forward to next week, our CPMs are hosting College Week with activities starting on Tuesday. The first activity will be Connect Four with JBHS teachers and their college and major. Other activities for the week include Application Roulette, College Gear Day, and Donuts for Decisions. Now before we get too excited for next week, let's check in with our sports in action today and tomorrow. Here's Silas with Bear Sports. Good morning Bears, this is Silas Hammernick and I've got your spring sports update today. Some of our sports are wrapping up league play this week, so let's dive in. Boys Golf tees off this afternoon for their sixth league match. They take on Arcadia at 12.30. Boys Tennis has their final regular season match at home against the Bulldogs. Varsity plays at 3.45, while JV is on the road at 3.45. Boys Volleyball is away today for their final game of league. Both Frosh and JV play at CV at 4.30, and Varsity is at 6. Softball takes on Arcadia this afternoon, and JV plays at home at 3.30, and Varsity is away at 3.30. Baseball is back in play tomorrow. Frosh plays away at CV at 3.30, and Varsity is at home at 3.30. Both swim and track and field start their league prelims this Saturday. Good luck to all of our sports, and that's all for me. Now back to you at the studio. Now, moving over to college and career news in Burbank, the fall dual enrollment schedule is now live on the BUSD website and available in the College and Career Center. Some of the classes being offered next year include intro to screenwriting, financial planning, real estate, sociology, public speaking, and more. These are all free classes that are transferable to other colleges. Some of these are required classes for any degree, so knock them out for free while in high school. Talk to the career counselors today for more information. Programs on campus are busy this week. The dance department is hosting their spring performance tonight and tomorrow. Here's a quick look at the different groups performing. Come out tonight or tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to the auditorium to watch all levels of dance perform. Tickets are on sale at s34t.com. Students are $10, adults are $15. Reserved seating is available. Another performing art group is also looking for support tomorrow. The Burbank Unified Color Guard and Winter Percussion are performing at the Burbank High Gym at 7.30. It is $5 admission at the door. In club news, the Environmental Cleanup Club is meeting today at lunch in room 1228 to discuss the Plant of Flower Day at Olive Park. If you're going to the Afro Animation Summit next week, there's a mandatory meeting today at lunch in room 6203. Remember to come out on Saturday from 10 to 1 and support the Aqua Alliance and their water walk. GBHS is hosting a multicultural festival next Friday and they are looking for students who want to represent their culture. The festival will take place after school on April 28th in the library. See Ms. Grenet for more information or scan the QR code on the flyers around school. 
You can also see Miss Grenet if you are interested in joining the Mantra Magazine Club next year. Stop by the library for more information on the first editorial planning meeting. If you're looking for service hours, the Project Help Club and CSF are holding a clothing drive from now until next Wednesday. You will earn one hour for every medium-sized trash bag of gently used clothes. If you want CSF hours, drop your clothes off in Ms. Snowden's room, 2304. CSF members can earn a total of four hours. Anyone else can also donate by bringing your bags to Mr. Peebles' room, 2207. Make sure to write your name and ID number on the bag in order to get credit. Now last, but certainly not least, we are so excited to announce the Class of 2023 Valedictorian and Salutatorian. Congratulations to Neenth Mahesh, who has earned the title of Valedictorian. Congratulations to Sophie Hagen smith who has earned the honor of being recognized as this year's Salutatorian. Amazing work, Bears. That's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow to close out this week. I'm Matthew Beiser. And I'm Max Purdy. Have a great day.